Ante, first question. You had a fantastic senior bowl, but how did you find that whole experience in Mobile? Uh, the experience as a whole was really a, a learning experience. I learned a lot from uh, Coach Myers. That was the offensive line coach for the Panthers. And I really just tried to pick up uh, what he was teaching me and use what I also knew so I can use it to uh, be the best I can be. Now, I was watching, uh, you know, every day, and those Panthers coaches, they were coaching you guys hard. You know, what was that like? Uh, it was fun. You know, I like I like being coached hard. It gets me uh, going. It gets me to know exactly what I'm supposed to do. So I didn't mind it at all. It was fun. I'm going to play some clips for you in a moment um, to sort of have a look at, at just how well you did in Mobile. But as that week was progressing, did you have a real feel for – you know, this is going pretty well. And what were your expectations going in? Uh, my expectations going in were just to go in and beat me, just play football and, and just do what I know I can do. Uh, going through practices and everything, you know, throughout the week, I just was really just focusing on just like, just improving my play and just getting better and just and just continuing to work. Now I've got your measurements here, six foot five, 294 pounds, but an 85 and an eighth inch wingspan, 35 and a quarter inch arms. That's quite a frame that you've got there. Did teams mention that? I mean, they're going to they're gonna love those long arms, that wingspan, aren't they, at the next level? <laughs> yes, sir. Now, 294 pounds, though. I mean, is that is that the weight that you played at? And do you have a weight goal in mind for the next level? So uh, for the past couple of days, I've been posting on my social media and everything. But I've been around, uh, I've been close to 305. I plan on being 305 for uh, my pro day. So that's, that's, that's my goal weight. That's the weight I plan on uh, uh, starting at. And, and uh, depending on where a team wants me, I depend on uh, going from there. Guard or tackle, what do you prefer? Uh, I prefer tackle, but, I, but I'm an offensive lineman as a whole. Can you be a franchise left tackle? And you know, I wouldn't ask you that question if I didn't think it was possible having uh, seen it at the senior bowl. But you know, that's that's the big position, isn't it? That left tackle protecting the big name quarterback. Um, do you sort of envision that you could do that role at the next level? Yes, yeah, sir. That's why I see myself. I see myself playing left tackle. So that's the position I see myself playing. Right. I'm going to share the screen. So um, let me know that you can see this. And what I like to do is just play a, a few clips here and people can see what you're all about. So, you know, I just, I, as I was kind of running through this, and there's a few college clips in here as well. Okay. Just, just, in, just real, just what a week, really. I mean, here you've got, you pull outside and, and, you know, you drive this guy down to the turf. I think there's quite a few of these plays where I think you knew it had gone well right after the snap with the sort of your <laughs> body language and, and, um, you know, there's a few fist pumps, I think, in there. I mean, just just tell us a little bit here. What does this say about your athleticism, do you think, and your ability to finish plays at the end? Uh, with this play, I'm just uh, – I feel like it was a good trap block. Uh, I, I could have been a little bit lower. That's me just critiquing myself. So, me, we're just looking at this play. I just see stuff that I can work on. But I just like how I brought my hips and everything with my hip. Not easy to move as well as that at that size, and um, you look like you had it down there. And uh, here's another one here. So, I mean, that's Cam's. I think that was Cam's sample there that you've kind of just driven off in that running play. I think you enjoyed this one as well. You can tell there. There's no volume here, but we could hear you on the video. <laughs> uh, I mean, he had a good week sample, and then you've driven him off the line there. And teams are going to like that, aren't they? Because we can talk about pass pro and it's so important, but teams love a run blocker and, and you've, you've created, I mean, let's just have a, let's see if we can pause it here. As a running back, that, that's a lane, isn't it? For, for him to run through there and, and you've kind of, it's not just you. I think that's, um, that's David Moore. From yes, Kansas sir. State, who I spoke to last week. Teams are going to look at that and they're going to like a bit of that, aren't they? Yes, sir. I think that that was a good uh that was a good block. You know, Cam Sample's a very good player and uh uh that play, you know what I mean? I just tried to use my fundamentals and it worked out for me. Is a battle with I think this is Roche. Yeah. From yeah, Miami. Sir. 
Um, let's have another look at that one just before we move on. I mean, again, another player who had a good week and manhandling him there. And, and that was the thing I noticed with him is that Roche beat a lot of the left tackles that he came up against in the 1v1s. But, you know, you did a very good job in, in, in a situation that is kind of set up for defensive linemen to have a bit of an advantage there. You know, using those long levers, you can see that this is a, a snap at guard here. Yes, sir. And this is just, I, I love the finish. I love the finish. And, and that's what we saw all week from you. Did you specifically want to go in and show some attitude on the field? <laughs> because I think there's was, there was quite, it was not just me who noticed, there was a, quite a lot of people who were kind of watching you and going, it was refreshing to sort of see, you know, that you played with a degree of physicality and aggression. And you seem to be enjoying yourself out there as well. I just, that's just like how I play football. Uh, I wasn't, that's just, I was just trying to be me, just be the, the player that I am and just try to showcase my talents, but also improve too. How good so are your I just. How good are your feet? I mean, this is this is not easy to you know the, to you know the chop the feet and 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 keep the balance the way that you did there. How good are uh, you? I kind of I like this rope a lot. I mean, I feel like uh, Coach Myers, uh, the offensive line coach for the Panthers, he was coaching us up on different guard sets and uh, just not giving them too much room off the ball. So that's that's what I felt like I wanted to do in that situation against him, and it worked out for me. So here here we've got the college bit of college tape. Second level, driving off, finishing, and, and that you know the teams want to see that, don't they? You know, it's it, the athleticism and the, the willingness. There's not a lot. It's, it may sound strange. There's not a lot of left tackles or even offensive linemen who love to get to the second level and, and and mix it up there against the faster guys. Here's another one off the edge here, and just driving off, creating those running lanes, those opportunities for the running back to see a big fat lane like that. It's what teams are gonna are really gonna want to see. This it's a bit blurry here, but you're down here, and the guy ends up on the turf, which is you know it, it wasn't the the only time. It's another you've moved across the line again. The guy's on his backside. I mean, is that something that you feel like if if teams want you to move around a lot, and some schemes will do that, is that something you're very good at? And and what is the key when you're in space? to latching on to somebody, especially if it's maybe a defensive back or a smaller linebacker, and making sure you connect and that you finish that block? Uh, for me, with the first question, uh, versatility, that's something I did want to show when I got to the senior bowl. I didn't know exactly how I was going to be able to show it, but uh, when I got there, uh, just so happened the first day it worked out, Coach Myers asked me to get a right guard, and that's what I did. And um, I was just ready to go from there. I was just ready <clears throat> to, to take what I learned uh, uh, from from uh, him in those first couple of meetings and also what I've been training on and, and show what I can do. What was your second question? About the key, to, you know, when you're working in space and you need to latch on to like a, a quick linebacker or maybe even a defensive back, what do you do to enable yourself to connect there? Because there's you're a much bigger guy than they are, you know, but you still need to execute. You need to get them in space. You need to drive them off the ball. Once you connect, it might be quite easy to finish because of the size advantage. But getting there in the first place must be a challenge. Oh, well, for me, I just try to understand the play, where they're trying to get to, where they should be trying to get to, and things like that, where I, where I know I can't lose them at. So that's why I try to uh, get in my body position and get my hands on them, get my feet and hips under them, and then get to the driving. But I try to get my body in position according to the play initially and I try to know where he's going to be at where he should be according to that play I want you to talk me through this rep because this is Roche and again as I mentioned he had a good week and this is a left tackle rep so you you want to play left tackle this is what the teams are going to look at aren't they this this clip here and they're going to say can this guy protect our quarterback now you talk me through this rep because this is a big win this is one play that really stood out to me during the week in Mobile uh, so for me right here, I say I started off with uh, my kick. My first kick wasn't best. It uh, was a little bit of a short kick, but I was trying to short set, it, short set him a little bit, get into him a little bit more. Uh, what I did was I tried to get my hands on him and punch him like I did there to get him off of his spot, get his feet moving. And uh, right then I just anchored down for the, uh, for the counter. His counter was for him to go back inside. See, that, that's the thing, Dante. Uh, you know, I hope you don't mind me saying while you're here, but it's just your ability with your length 
you can deliver a punch, but it keeps your frame clean. You know, no one's getting into your frame there. And then you need to plant the anchor and your feet are good. That's, that's what teams are really, you would imagine that they're looking for that position. Here's another college rep here on the move once more, finishing that block, driving him off the ball. Number four, there's not got much chance. He's looking back across. He's trying to get back in there, uh, rejected. Here's another senior bowl snap. And just, I, I want to try and get the, the video clip out, out the way here so people can see this. You know, another guy on the deck, finishing. You know, this is, do you enjoy that? I was talking to David Moore and Quinn Miners and they, was, they were sort of saying how much fun it is to get a pancake block. Um, that's, the, that's like scoring a touchdown for an offensive lineman. So. <laughs> that's what they both said. That's what they both said. <laughs> uh, we start, as, as mentioned to David Moore, we need to start a campaign to get a, to get the whole pancake block as a, as official statistic in the NFL. So we should, we should be listing that at the end of the season and seeing who got the most. Um, most definitely. <laughs> the rep here, you know, the length. And I, and I guess, I mean, you tell me, um, if you've got the length, you can make the path to the quarterback longer just by reaching your arms out, surely. I mean, if you, you know, it, it's, it must be an advantage for you to have those, those enormous arms, those long arms. It just gives you an advantage right off the off the play there. And if you've got the good feet, which you have, then you you can win a lot of these reps, can't you? Uh, yes, sir. It does give me a little bit of help. I mean, I, me knowing wrestling really helped me out with learning how to use my body, learning uh how to use body leverage and stuff like that. So I think that helped me out a lot with my arms. So, so tell us a bit about the wrestling then before we talk about this box jump. So, you know, were you a big wrestler then in high school? Uh, I wrestled for my sophomore and my junior year. I ended up getting third in regionals, and like I was a replacement for state my junior year. So I was decent. I wasn't the best. Nice. And that's obviously something that teams look for as well. Now, the, the, this interests me because I've got to be honest, Dante, I, I'm fascinated by testing, the combine, you know, because you can learn so much. I know that teams like explosive offensive linemen because you always see them go very early. So the vertical the broad jump, what you do in the bench press, always seem to be like little tests that the NFL teams are looking for. And when I see you doing a jump like this, that suggests to me that you, you've probably got a pretty good vertical jump. Is that fair to say? Yes, sir. I have a pretty, I have a pretty decent vertical jump. Because generally, I think anything over 30 inches is, uh, is considered pretty good. Now, Nobody wants to ever say what they think they would do at the combine, which I kind of understand because you mm -hmm. don't want to don't want to reveal anything. But would you be kind of in that ballpark? Do you think is that kind of a an area where you think you might? Is that sort of that thirty range or above? Is that something that you think that's that's a possibility there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a, that's a possibility for me. Good. That's all we needed to know. That's all we kind of needed to know. I think really. Um, what are the next few weeks like for you? I mean, you've, there's no combine. So what what are you working on right now? What is it your weekly schedule like? Uh, so since I've been back from the senior ball, I've just been back training. For me, my weekly schedule is uh, I work out Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday are two workouts. Uh, it's like a running and, and a lifting period in each of those days. On Wednesdays, I do like some yoga and stuff like that. And that's really my schedule for these days. And you mentioned that you're having a pro day. So it just seems like a really difficult thing to try and piece together at the moment because we don't know like some schools on the West coast are having to like plan pro days out of state and stuff like that because of guidelines and what's going on with the pandemic. So when is your, is you, have you got a date for your pro day? Is it going to be back at, at East Carolina? And, and what is the, what is the plan there? Oh, uh, my pro day is going to be at uh, on March 30th, 2021 at East Carolina. So yes, sir. We'll be uh, starting on field events around eight o'clock. And is that, a, although it's possibly not going to be quite the same as a combine, because I think a lot of players, they, they like the idea of running the 40. They've watched it on the TV in the past and they run a 40 and do the drills and stuff like that. Would there still be a, an element of excitement for that pro day? Is it something you're already looking forward to? Uh, yes, sir. Most definitely. You know, with anything that you train for, you look forward to it. And, uh, you know, I'm training. I'm training to do my best and uh, I'm ready to perform. What was it like meeting with teams in Mobile? So. I spoke to, I think it was Quinn, who said that essentially meet with all the teams for a small amount of time. Is that basically what the what the schedule is in, in Mobile? Uh, yes, sir. That was what? that was how we operated uh, for, for the senior bowl. 
And how did you find that? And, and was it a, you know, a, a useful experience for you? Was it something, I, you know, I can imagine that that must be like having 32 job interviews in a very short space of time, which to a lot of people, that'd be quite nerve wracking. Uh, I felt like it was a, I felt like it was a good experience for me uh, being from East Carolina. I haven't had too much contact with a lot of uh, uh, schools. I haven't had a lot of notoriety. So I feel like that was good for me to get my name out there and stuff like that and uh, get, get uh, talking and introducing myself. What are your aims for the next level, Dante? What do you what do you hope to achieve? Uh, I hope to be, like you said, a franchise left tackle, a legacy player. I want to eventually be in the Hall of Fame one day. But uh, you know, wherever my career takes me along the offensive line, I'll be ready to play. I know I'll be ready to go. What do you like to do outside of football? You know, tell us a little bit about yourself. If you're having a, a bit of a relaxing, maybe an off day from the training, or an off afternoon, or an evening, what do you, what do you like to get up to? Uh, so lately now I've been, uh, I've been getting into yoga and stuff like that. So I do like a lot of yoga now. I play the video games with my friends back home and some of them are stationed at different bases across the country and stuff like that. So I play video games, you know, hang out with my girlfriend, FaceTime my girlfriend and stuff like that. And let's just sort of say, you know, a team may well ask you uh, over the course of the next few weeks, what am I getting if I draft? Dante Smith, how are you going to answer that question? What are teams going to get if they select you in this draft? Uh, I thought they're going to get someone that's going to work hard, someone that's going to come to compete every day, someone that's ready to lay it out on the field every day. For me, I'm just all about getting better and being a team player. So the people around me are, are going to improve too. Now, Dante, I have to tell you, it's, there's, there's nothing more exciting than sort of watching a senior bowl and finding a player who you've not seen before, you've not spent much time studying, and then you just go back and watch the tape and it matches up with everything you see in Mobile. And it was a real pleasure to watch you perform at the Senior Bowl. Congratulations on the week that you had. I know a lot of people are interested to see just how high you're going to go in the draft after that performance. But we wish you the best of luck and I hope you have a great NFL career. Thank you so much.